Okay, come on YouTube. <laughs> come, come on YouTube. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Please work this time. Please, please. Yeah, it works. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hey. Welcome to the day two of this Adobe Live events about graphic design. We are live from Paris and all uh, very pleased to see you. Let us know where you're from. I'm Michael. I work for Adobe and uh, my first guest of the day because we have four actually four shows but five guests but the first guest is Gordon as known as Middle Boob. Middle Boob! Hey guys. Hello team. Hey. <laughs> and uh, so if, if this is the first time you join IDB Live uh, it's quite simple. We ask our guests who are all uh, creatives to um, uh, create something over three days. They have two hours per day and uh, share their creative process but also it's a unique opportunity for you to ask questions about uh, Gordon, about the creative industry, about what it is this to be a freelancer or to work in an agency, uh, if you want some advices about uh, hierarchy, typography, I and mean, it's really time for you to learn more about graphic design and share your passion. Uh, and also we have contests going on, we will do some giveaways, we will uh, give away credit card subscriptions, right. but also some uh, uh, swag. We got some swag, we got swag, some middle group swag, middle yeah. swag, exclusive content, and we have people from Singapore. Hi, Devan from Serbia. Hi, Chris from Hamburg, and uh, Jan from Germany too. Uh, hi, Clara for joining. Daniele from Florida, first time. Daniele, welcome. Uh, it's awesome to see you on Adobe Live. We are live every two weeks: Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Hey Gordon, how are you today? Um, I'm very good actually. Yeah, Michael, thanks for asking. I mean, uh, I'm very, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> very genuine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe we should start by your website. Do you want to open your website? Let's do the website. So we discover your workers a bit, and our friends can. Let's do the website. Better. Let's do the website. Here we go. Here That's we the website. Go. If you yeah. want to discover the universe of Middle Boop. Nice. Oh, so, look, someone's already put Middle Boop lighters. Winky face. This oh, is, the lighters, yeah. This is a little in joke from uh, off because I got some lighters. Yeah, I remember done. that. Yeah. Which they can win as well. Yeah, they can oh, win. Oh, okay, okay. And we have oh, Rehan from Melbourne, Australia. Must be very late. Thanks for being awake for us. Even people from India. I know it's late in India. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, Italy, yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, let's discover your visual universe. Graphic design identity. Is oh, yeah. Your awesome logo, I really love it. Thank you very much. much. Little wobbly, wobbly yeah. logo. Yeah. Well, this is the new website for anyone that hasn't kind of seen what I do before. This is a, a website that I launched just before Off Festival, so about a month ago. So it's all very fresh and new at the moment. So feel free to uh, middleboot.com if anyone wants to go to it. You know, <laughs> check it out. Be the first. <laughs> it's the first and only first. Um, so we've got all sorts, I mean, what can, what can I talk you through today? All sorts of bits and bobs on the website, let's go for it. Uh, I'm going to show you today, I'm going to talk you through a playing arts piece. Yeah. Because yeah. this is a cool piece. So this is a, a, a competition I'm, I guess some of you guys might know about, because it's quite a big quite a big thing now. I think they're doing quite, they've done about four decks. And it's basically you get invited to do a card card from a deck uh, and you illustrate it in your style. Mm -hmm. um, so for this piece... Oh yeah, this is our background, look. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, the background. Yeah. Beautiful. Six. Beautiful piece of work. Number six, yeah. I can stand up and present. Yeah, please. Like the weather forecast. Yeah, this is the weather. So Gordon, what will happen tomorrow with the number six? With the number six, the star is going to hit that number six over there. <laughs> it's noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so this, this particular piece of work was mm -hmm. one that uh, kind of, because I've been working in agencies for quite a while, Okay. Uh, doing a lot more kind of corporate, I guess, design work and advertising mm -hmm. uh, for sort of big clients, which is great as well. It's really fun to kind of work in those environments, but it's also nice to kind of just do something that's completely for you, yeah. really, to kind of just explore some styles and treatments. So for this piece, it was a little bit of a kind of uh, move in a different direction because normally a lot of my work is kind of flat vector illustration. Mm. Uh, and for this piece, it's kind of one of the first times that I really tried kind of experimenting with texture and using kind of simple tricks that we'll, we'll do on Photoshop probably tomorrow uh, to kind of add a bit more depth to the piece. 
uh, and a bit more kind of texture and things like that. And it's, I think it kind of, well, I feel, I feel it works quite well. Yeah. Uh, so this is, uh, we've got all sorts of like little iterations. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, all bits, all bits like this. This is good. Oh, it's a beautiful background. Oh, yeah. thanks. Thanks very much. That's the card. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and Get Castro. Oh, you shared your entry for the contest. Yeah, I will talk about it uh, in a few minutes. But yeah, we have a contest going on with amazing prices. Oh, yeah? Credit card subscriptions, Adobe stock subscriptions, and signed posters. Maybe a signed poster by, uh, by you. Who knows? Maybe the LA Confidential will become a poster. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone wants me to sign something, I'll, yeah. I'll sign something for sure. Yeah. yeah, I can sign for you. Yeah. Oh, you can sign. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just ink. You know, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> Hello, Thailand. Oh, look at LA that. as well. Someone's on my website. Oh, thank God for that. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for being the first visitor. You were the first on visitor. Your, on your <laughs> yeah. website. Commission me, please. Uh, this is oh. another piece. Yeah, so this is. Well, little best. Yes. Okay. So this is a, an EP cover for a, an electronic musician. Oh. Cool. What's the name of the band? Uh, Sequel. Okay. Uh, and it was a, a, a kind of trio of of uh, EPs that he works on and this was the uh, yeah this is the final one um, and he kind of I mean he was a friend of mine and he'd sort of done the artwork himself which I wasn't too impressed with so I was kind of hammering him for a while and saying that you need to kind of refresh you know let's, oh. let's create kind of a simple kind of style that kind of I feel, you know reflects your music okay uh, and I was quite influenced by uh, I can't remember the designer, but there's a really famous designer who's done some cool work for like Pet Shop Boys. In the oh, 80s. Pet Shop Boys! Oh my god, yeah. And I just saw this this record cover. Uh, I think somewhere in Manchester, and it was just these kind of. I'm literally... sure they will find the name of the designer in the in the chat. Oh yeah, they designed the Pet Shop Boys covers. I'm sure someone will find it. Yeah. Uh, and it was just like three zigzags on the cover. Okay. Really simple, really graphic. Really elegant, but then you remember it. Yeah, exactly. So basically, this is my <laughs> my iteration of the zigzag. So three EPs. Pharaoh. Okay. Pharaoh. Yeah. Pharaoh. Maybe. As in Pharaoh? Oh, Pharaoh. Yeah, I know that guy. I don't know him. <laughs> I know his work. Yeah. 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 So sequel album arc record. Yeah. So three yeah. EPs. Yeah. I thought you said three hippies. So ah. I was like, okay, that's weird. Like electronic music for by hippies. By hippies, that yeah. That should be a first. That could be, yeah. Three hippies. Oh, okay, got it. If there's any hippies out Makes there. Makes more sense. There you yeah. go. Wanna make hey, hippies. Electronic music. <laughs> thanks, Hi, guys. Simon. Thanks for joining. Ah, Simon. Good man. Oh. Two days straight. Hey, Katerina from the south of France. Wow. Which part? Very lucky. It's oh. very sunny in Paris, so it must be, you must have beautiful weather in the south of France. What is okay. one yeah, more yeah, project? Yeah. Let's please. do another one. Yeah, let's do. What are we gonna do today? Journal. journal. I like a, journal. There is a typo. Uh, well, that is yeah. <laughs> that is a big typo. Yeah, <laughs> big typo. You should tell them. <laughs> so journal. Uh, is, so this was called a cool project that, that came to me a few years ago because I'd done some uh, like an illustration for a water bottle uh, okay. called H Two Go. Uh, it's like New Zealand hmm. brand. And they commissioned, I think, four illustrators to do like a season for the water bottle. Mm. Just kind of a nice project. And it was a similar design to this illustration where you just kind of had all sorts of things like geometric shapes going mad either side and then kind of coming into the center and forming like a bit of a unity or something okay. like that. And Journal is an app or, or was an app. Yeah, it's, it's an app. Yeah. Uh, that um, to yeah. plan and stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like a live plan. Yeah. Uh, so the brief was really nice, really good brief uh, from the art director there, who just basically mm. wanted chaos on either side. Yeah. He wanted, oh, know, like it's chaos, but thanks to journal, everything is well organized. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. a good, uh, yeah, good idea. Yeah. So this was a nice. So we did everything for these guys. I say we. I say we. I mean. No, you. Me. <laughs> so we did the branding <laughs> first. Kind of got that sort of all together with the heart. You nice. know. I mean, it, it was quite a lot of back and forth with that. It's yeah. probably not my first choice, but uh, but then we kind of yeah. Then we sort of rolled it out through through the different mediums. So we had kind of business cards, and obviously the website and the app design. You know, hmm. some nice, uh, very nice. Yeah, like letterheads, and then kind of rolled it out through social. 
<laughs> so this this was actually at a point where sort of their team kind of started to take over and use kind of what I'd done and, and kind of carry it on and get the website as well their manifesto so that was that was a nice piece and it was a big it's quite a big job really so it's it's quite nice I always find it quite um, rewarding when you work on a piece that kind of starts as, a, as an illustration and then builds to something yeah. bigger so you have total kind of creative ownership over that work you know that's a great project yeah that was a good one. I'm nearly, nearly in tears here. I'm getting emotional talking so about it. So we have people asking what you will be working on today. Nikolai is asking. So yesterday he started working on refreshing a book cover, LA Confidential by Jens Elroy. Uh, so maybe you want to show, to show where you are at. That sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yesterday was, uh, yeah, it's the first, I mean, I'm going to do this for the, the whole kind of three days, I think. And uh, for, for anyone that couldn't see it yesterday, uh, the idea behind it was, uh, I'm quite a big uh, James Elroy fan, and uh, his book covers are sort of notoriously quite bad. I think mm. they've always been quite bad. <laughs> so, Very bad covers. But whenever I pick up one of those books, obviously as a designer, I'm always thinking, God, I really wish I could do this, oh. you know? Uh, so when this came up, when we started talking, I just thought that's kind of the perfect, perfect brief to actually kind of recreate a book cover. Uh, and having done a couple of book covers, uh, mainly, as we spoke about yesterday, yeah, one right. for uh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk, yeah, the CEO of uh, Tesla, SpaceX. Yeah, yeah, the, the rock and roll star of uh, for the nerds. Yeah. <laughs> Flying to Mars. Yeah, and I just felt it'd be quite a fun project to kind of uh, to work with, really, with you guys. Oh, Katarina, you're from Ardash. Yeah, this is where I spent summer. Oh yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, nice. There we go. Okay, Loving some, logo. some people are, are asking about the contest, so maybe I should explain what this is because Gordon will be working in Illustrator, but you too, we invite you to work in Illustrator too. So um, let me show you how it works. It's quite easy. Come on, baby. Yeah. Okay, let me show you on my screen. So if you visit adobelive.com, there is here a contest tab, okay, where uh, the rules are very simple. Also, there is a, a button here, get the template, okay. Uh, so you will jump to uh, an Adobe page. This is my Creative Cloud account, where you can download an Illustrator file, okay. And uh, we invite you to do two simple things in the Illustrator file. Uh, this is a poster about the Adobe Camp. And um, the design is not great because it's black and white and the typography is really bad. So we want you to fix that and uh, put your own colors, okay? Create a universe, a visual universe, thanks to colors and also choose great typefaces. Okay, so let me show you how it looks here. That's the Adobe Camp, so you can just yeah, add some colors. You have the rules on the left. Change the typography because by default I'm using Arial, which is uh, okay but not very creative and not very impactful and then you can share it on twitter or instagram adding the adobe live hashtag and on friday we will give away uh, to uh, 30 participants creative Cloud subscriptions adobe stock subscriptions posters so you have like plenty of opportunities to win prizes um so yeah make sure to go on adobe live and get uh, the template and start playing with it. And actually, uh, yesterday, some people starting sharing. So look at all this uh, beautiful variation I have of the, of the Adobe Camp poster already. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so so many different styles. I mean, you already uh, did an awesome job. So yeah, start uh, playing with the template and uh, share them on Twitter. You can also share your portfolio if you want. There is a share my portfolio button on Adobe Live and with Gordon, we'll be happy to review your portfolios and your posters. Uh, during this live stream, okay? Yeah, I'd love so to see you work. Stay with guys. us, okay? Be creative, and uh, you can work on the on the template as you watch uh, Gordon working and uh, and keep asking questions. Uh, do we submit by the end of Adobe Live? Yeah, it's it's in the rules. You have until Thursday night Pacific time. So if you are in Europe, it gives you even more time. But uh, it's until Thursday at 11 p.m. Pacific time, so San Francisco time. Okay. So yeah, have fun, please. Be creative and share your services. Look at my haircut. There we go. That's good. That yeah, I like that. What's happening? Is Dragon Ball or anything? 
<laughs> there we go. So, uh, I mean, I think for anyone that didn't see yesterday, where we kind of where we got to was uh, I, I started building up the design. Uh, building it around the type, which which we got working in the end, uh -huh. uh, and thanks to you guys for uh, for messaging in and suggesting different typefaces that we could use and working with the colour schemes. You know, I really want to make it a bit of a, a kind of back and forth between you guys. So you know, if you do have any suggestions on on things you might want illustrated or different colour schemes to experiment with, uh, you know, just message in. It's all good. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, a collaborative piece. Yeah, a collaborative piece. If you have any idea of uh, illustration, he could add illustration that matches with LA Confidential. Oh yeah, yeah. not just anything. Not, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a castle or you know, or yeah, yeah, like something that yeah, just uh, like banana. I'm not sure. No, just find something that makes sense. Or... I was thinking banana as well. Why was that? That's right. weird, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's weird. Yeah, maybe I should illustrate a bit. Yeah, you just, just. Just make it. And Just go. We'll make it work. Um, and but, uh, yeah. and typography also. We were showing. Maybe we can show it again today. The work from oh. the kids. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's let's kind of go through. So I mean, I'd, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'm going to build this up from a, a background okay. grid, which Let's you do. can you can just sort of see there. Uh, and today we're really working on that composition. So we're going to kind of start working into the grid, uh, creating different segments, and, and then being able to kind of move the illustrations that I've started, kind of uh, pull the piece together. So hopefully by the end it should be looking awesome. really good. But yeah, we also used uh, we did a bit of type kit, Adobe type kit yesterday. Any of you guys have used that? I like a bit of Adobe type kit. Yeah, type kit. So uh, if you don't know what type kit is, it's a catalog of typefaces, like the professional ones. Okay, so it's a catalog of uh, gathering typefaces by very professional foundries with all the character sets, all the ligatures. Uh, it can manage a lot of languages. And um, that's the search engine. So what's cool is that you can have a live preview of your title. And then you can uh, use the filters to say, I just want to, dis yeah, to display um, uh, the hand scripted um, typefaces or the sans serif uh, with huge contrast with uh, small caps. So you have different filters. And once you find the typeface of your dream, you can either use it on, on your website, but also now you can sync them with Creative Cloud and use them directly in Photoshop, Illustrator, or InDesign, all the Creative Cloud apps. I found the, I found both typefaces of my dream yesterday. Yeah, on so which one? Yeah, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got Scriptorama. Oh, look uh, at that. By Jukebox. So Jukebox is the name of the foundry. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Scriptorama. Well, and I just synced it. Oh, the, yeah. A little sync. So when you go to your little... Uh, your creative clouds you've got these were all the fonts that i was kind of experimenting with yesterday balboa plus scriptorama uh obviously for this piece because we're you know we're kind of talking about designing for something that's you know sort of 1900s to 1940s mm. californian style uh so uh, you know that sort of that kind of really elegant sort of hand script font yeah. i always feel kind of uh exemplifies that sort of scenario quite nicely awesome uh, and then obviously with the with a kind of more bold sans serif font, uh, I wanted something that I could put on a slant, stretch out a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so these two work we really go. well. Mm, okay. So there we go. So there's your there's your type kit. Let's get straight into this. Who have we got on the? Uh... We have Niraj watching from Nepal. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Do real love, please, black <laughs> mask. Okay. <laughs> Black Mask, do real. Oh, yeah. And and hi, some... Ryan. Thanks for waking up and joining. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, oh, Milan. <laughs> Anytime. Glad to be of service. There we go. So let's let's build this thing up. Let's go for it. So what is your next move? The next, or, well, the next move is just uh, just elaborating on this grid, really. So on the grid, okay. Yeah, you can kind of see it sort of starting to happen here okay. when I'm kind of building in these different segments, okay. uh, which which I'll kind of then 
push to the rest of the illustration. Okay. And then we can kind of work on housing some of the illustrations we created yeah. inside there. So it should, should okay. start to take life. Let's get a little star tool in there. Look at that. This is a nice this is a nice little feature I found not too long ago. It's the up and oh, down thing. Yeah. Up and down. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you. When I found that, it was, it was a beautiful moment. <laughs> <laughs> so gratifying. Yeah. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. How you doing, man? You all right? <laughs> you can't reply. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Andres. Thanks for joining. Uh, I'm Michael, and uh, I am with Gordon, who is a graphic designer from London. He's uh, working on uh, Creating and refreshing a book cover for uh, the book *LA Confidential* by James Elroy, with a more, yeah, something more modern, you know, uh, look than uh, the yeah, basic covers you would find in a train station, you know, which are yeah, yeah just not something that to good. something to bring it to life a little bit more, you know. <laughs> okay. Oh, Shen is good. Shen is doing. Oh, good to hear it. Good to hear it, Sean. <laughs> okay, and what, so yeah, let's let's sort of build into. So each piece, I want to kind of build in some, oh. some little details today. And other things like that. Okay. Hi, Mike Costello. Yes, I'm less stressed today because YouTube is working. So that's a that's a game changer for us. We're all less stressed because of oh, that. Yeah. yeah, I tell you that. Ah, YouTube. <laughs> Oh, you're working on the cover of one of the favorite books of Sean. Oh yeah? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, nice one. Thanks, Sean. Hi, Benedict from Norway. Thanks for joining. Uh, Rebecca would like to become an intern. Is there a way to contact you? What is the best way? Yeah, um, we could do it. Give me a... Give me... Oh, no. Muscatons online. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here comes trouble. We have the, the vector master. The vector master. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Muscatan, who is with us uh, also live uh, at Off. Oh, yeah? So if you check the replays, actually, all the replays of Adobe Live are available on the Adobe Creative Cloud YouTube channel. I really invite you to subscribe. Uh, we just passed uh, 200,000 subscribers. Whoa! Uh, two, 10 days ago, which was awesome. Thanks for following us. And uh, go on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. If you search for Muscaton, you will discover his work. So, yeah, one of the most amazing uh, Victor artists on the planet. Nah, he's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> he is rubbish. Yeah. Oh, dear. No, I, I love it. Oh, Jonas from South Africa. That's awesome. We had two guests from South Africa on Adobe Live, actually. Oh, nice. Two motion designers, yeah. Tarek from Belgium. Tarek, thanks for joining. Uh, we will have. Uh, so today we start the day with Gordon uh, for two hours. Then we will welcome Christina and Julia. They are graphic designers. They will work on the poster. Um, they are Italian, but they are based in London also. Then we will welcome Martin, who is from Belgium, Tarek, like you. And today he will uh, design uh, some packaging and branding for Macaron. Do you know what Macaron is? I do, is yeah. I, I hear you make them as well. I hear you make a mean yes. Macaron. I used to cook them, yeah. Oh, yeah? It takes forever. It's a very long process. But oh, I can so imagine. Good. And then at the end of uh, this day, we will welcome Jing, uh, who is the illustrator. Oof. Very, very good one. Yeah, she's a good one. What are we doing here? Let's have a look. What was someone's question earlier? Oh, about interning. Give me a yeah. uh, give me a tweet on. Uh, I'm just at Middle Boop. Middle Boop on Twitter. On Twitter or uh, or you know Instagram or anything like that. Uh, yeah, just give us a shout on there. Or could always could always use a hand, an extra hand to work with. Mm -hmm. Hi Brian from Indianapolis. Thanks for joining. And uh, Amayumi, South Africa. Thanks for watching. Guys, people all over, all over today. 
and uh, yeah, I, I will check all the entries. Okay, don't worry, it's on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, actually, I will have a look at uh, Twitter in a few minutes. So if you want to share your posters, feel free to share your posters in the coming minutes and we will feature the posters you have created. This is part of the contest. Let me display the rules again in the chat. And you can I also invite you to share your portfolios and to do so there is your share my portfolio button on adobelive.com. Okay, if you look at at the bottom of the interface of the UI, you will see share my portfolio. Where's Muscatin gone? Uh, Muscatin, he's working. He's, he's he works all the time. He's a very busy man, Muscatin. Isn't works he? too much. Busy man, yeah. We were talking about and, uh, uh, Clara. Yes, we accept uh, entries from Singapore. Yes. Ah, oh, Ryan is in North America. He would like to work for you, but he says, oh, "I'm in North America." Oh, right. Who's in North America? Ryan, Ryan Ford. Oh, he's very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He every time he participates in the in the contest on Adobe Live, and every time he he submits very good entries. Oh, cool, yeah. man. Yeah. Well, I'd like to see your work, Ryan. Send yeah. it in. Share. Share and share alike. That's what I say. Uh, Empao is asking what would be the best advice for that you could give to someone who wants to become a, a graphic designer. Oh, a don't do it. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. That's the end of the show. Thanks, everyone. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Um, best uh, so this is best advice for best advice for beginners. Um, I don't know actually. Where, where's the best place to start? I guess it's just about kind of finding your own unique style. And I think once you've kind of landed on something that that you like, uh, yeah, that you like. feel comfortable creating with, whether you know it could be anything, screen printing, photography, whatever it is, uh, and then build up a portfolio from there. Um, you know work with friends uh, at first and just do kind of small briefs and just sort of get to know how you can work with people because I mean that's that's the sort of key really it's I mean it's like 50% actually being able to do the work and 50% mm. being able to kind of manage clients and yeah there is a business side uh, yeah so it's yeah in fact that's that's a great uh, point as well uh, learning the business I think is Learning the business, yeah, yeah, really, because they don't teach you that in uni. They don't teach you the uni, yeah, the uh, business part. I've just read also a great article on the 99 new blog about it. Uh, I mean, another aspect that um, is now to uh, you know uh, teach that at school uh, is about uh, legal implications. Uh, oh like, yeah, uh, we had the case with an Adobe Creative resident, and she designed uh, stickers, you know, but for mobile. For iOS, you know, when in the chat you can add some stickers. Oh, yeah, so sure. She just design like very cute uh, trash doves, you know, like pigeons, um, and it became super trendy in uh, Thailand for some reason. Okay. Yeah. Don't ask me why, but yeah, like, like super trendy, like on TV and everything. Wow. And um, and so people started to produce T-shirts with the trash doves, and she was like, "Hey, no, like it's my design. This is my work." Yeah. yeah. So she had to to learn, you know, how to protect. Uh, yeah, her work uh, with uh, IP and everything. So this is also a very important aspect that uh, I wasn't aware of, to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. But she had to deal with it like an entire month because it became so trendy that she, yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, not so cool for her, but yeah, yeah cool that your work has got, I mean, this is it. I mean, I, I did the same, you know, I, I had an agent, had an illustration agent for, well, I've had various for years. Uh, I ended up getting rid of them. <laughs> And uh, getting a lawyer instead, and uh, having the lawyer has yeah. been the best best move I could I could yeah. do really. But okay. yeah, because you know you're able then once you're kind of comfortable with managing the finances yeah. and and knowing what to charge, uh, having yeah. someone who can back you up legally. I think it's a, yeah, it's a good point because uh, if you want to become a graphic designer, like uh, Empower, like is asking. Uh, how to begin in the industry. Um, it's a lot of work, a lot of practice, so you need to be, of course, passionate about it. Yeah. And uh, being passionate is great because you wake up and you don't feel that you're working because it's, it's your passion. Uh, but then uh, it's an industry, so <laughs> there is a business side uh, that you need to cover. 
and master and there is this legal side where you need some backup uh, so maybe it's good to yeah just being aware of all these aspects as soon as possible because otherwise you will start creating 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 and you can get burnt because you have to deal with the financial stuff and you can be very depressing uh, so yeah make sure to invest uh, in this field to take the time to understand what's going on with uh, finance and legal oh, totally yeah. if you want to become a freelancer of course but, which is uh, awesome in terms of freedom but maybe you can start in an agency and then you don't have to deal with it well yeah you and that, to have other constraints <laughs> and that's a great way of just you know really learning learning how to sort of do do your job properly is, is learning from other people you know from from really good agencies and stuff like that i mean places i've worked to just you know you just learn so much because you know everyone's got a different way of working and doing things you know mm -hmm. uh, we have rebecca in the chat who likes to invite you to a digital digital design degree show in brighton which is a very creative city in the uk so she will message you on instagram Oh, do it. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm up really for good. that. Yeah, Brighton, I, I don't live too far away from Brighton. So, yeah, I'll come to that. Just cleaning this up. Um, and uh, Ekaterina is also, in her design, she's using a lot of hand-drawn, you know, uh, stuff. Oh, uh, yeah? Welcome. Is it something you, you do sometimes in your work or you prefer to focus on the geometric shapes and I, I mean uh, I uh, I draw, draw yeah, yeah I you can show that actually. oh yeah yeah because we, we, we have a kind of uh, this is high tech stuff look at them this is it oh, let's let's get on to the so high tech whoa, whoa so high tech there we go this is it this is where it all starts pen and paper uh, yeah, you, I think you've got to kind of start out this way. I mean, these are these were drawn on holiday, so they're a bit wonky. <laughs> on holidays. <laughs> yeah. Last week. Last week, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. this is wonky. Okay, Sketching by the pool. Yeah, yeah that's a good bit of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's the only way I kind of really can properly start a piece of work. Look, that's a good angle, isn't it? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Greetings from Utah. What's oh, this? Almost died. You are right? <laughs> There's a hole. It's falling over. It's uh, okay. The freelancers from LLC or uh, from LLC or corporation or just a sole proprietors. Oh my God, Jewel. That's, wow, we're that's... getting into it today. Yeah. I mean, it depends on where you were. I mean, in England, I'm uh, something. No, I'm a limited company. A limited company. That's oh, this is how you okay the, the status of your company in the yeah in the UK. Okay, getting yeah very technical here. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. These are good questions. Hey, hi Joe. Hi Joe is uh, watching us from uh, Dubai. Thanks okay. for joining. Oh, and Ryan is also using a grid paper. Ah, good lad, good lad, Ryan. See, I'm not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, I thought I was. Okay, so... Uh, someone's asking what is the name of the font again? I guess the one used by... Oh, uh, uh, so the... Scriptorama? Yeah, so the font is... This one. Scriptorama. Trade show. That's the main and one. It's on Typekit, so if you are a Creative Code member, just uh, sign in on Typekit and you will find it and you click on Sync, Sync, Sync and it will install it directly on your computer. And the other one is um, Balboa. Balboa. Yeah. yeah. I really love Balboa. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's worked quite yeah. nicely for this one, actually. Yeah. As, we've, as we've sort of done it. Now I might start... Higher and over. Thanks for joining. Yeah, so let's go to... So for anyone, anyone that wasn't watching yesterday, I oh, yeah. you have a mood board. Got my little Pinterest mood board going on here. Uh, and all of these, so all of these kind of segments are things that I'm, I'm looking to illustrate or have already illustrated. Uh, and they're all part of the book in some way. You know, they, they all have a bit of a meaning. So the camera, uh, for anyone that's read the book is, you know, there's, there's a lot of press implications in it. But just little things like that, little nuances that I think can really aid the illustration and the design. Nice shirt, Michael. Oh, let's do it again. What's that? Yeah, I have to. 
<laughs> okay, who designed this shirt? Let's see. Who will give me the right answer first? There is nothing to win. Just fame. Who designed this t-shirt? Someone who was live with us on Adobe Live. Oh. Let's go and trace this thing now. Uh, hi, Renover. So no, so this uh, Gordon is designing a, a book cover for uh, the book LA Confidential, the bestseller. Kaiser, yeah, good answer, Powell. <sighs> Kaiser. I'm it's, from London. It's not spelled like this, but yeah, that's the right answer. It's <laughs> not your mom, Radim. <laughs> hey, Radim, good to see you. Radim, <laughs> awesome designer. <laughs> I'm no. some designer from uh, the UK. No, he's a, he's a rubbish designer. <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> Message retracted, Radim. So, <laughs> Radim's a, a very old friend of mine. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to be um, usher at his wedding next in a few weeks. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Depending on how today goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did say that he'd come on and, and you know, comment on a few things. T-shirt is by Kaiser. Let me copy paste the. <laughs> Who's Kaiser? Uh, so, oh, he's a funny one. He's a um, um, lettering artist. Oh yeah. From uh, Amsterdam, but he moved to Paris uh, three or four years ago. Cool. And every time he learns a new uh, French word or expression, it becomes uh, something. Like oh. a T-shirt or a mural painting or. You know, yeah, so yeah. it's so funny when you're French and you, when you look at his work, it's so funny. <laughs> and he works a lot for uh, Colette, which is a concept store in Paris. Okay. Well, yeah. So this is where you can get the t-shirt, also on his uh, online shop. Yeah, Radim, good to see you in the chat. Thanks, Radim. Yeah, I'm glad too. I think we all, we're all glad. <laughs> and uh, yes, Hazer, if you want to enter the contest, yeah, just add Adobe Live, the hashtag, when you post on Twitter. Yeah, this is how I can catch all the entries. And this is how you can get a chance to win uh, credit card subscriptions, Adobe stock subscriptions, and posters. Hi, Karina. Hey, Katerina, you're from Kazakhstan. Nice. Good part of the world, that. Yeah. Good part of the world. But she's watching from France. Oh, okay. And she lives in France now. Yeah. Well, we can explain more. Um, so basically, yeah. right right now, uh, I'm tracing this building. So it's like the LAPD building. Okay. Uh, so it features heavily in the book. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically what I'm doing is, is just tracing it. So I use kind of, you know, simple vector shapes, like the squares and rectangles and things like that, and just turn the opacity down uh, so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And from there, I'm going to build up, just build up the illustration so it looks uh, a kind of, you know, a version of my version of what the building <laughs> might actually look like. Um, so it's, it's kind of simple stuff, but you know, when you when you get it right and get it built into the whole design, uh, yeah, it will it will start to sort of take place and, and look good. Well, I hope it will look good. Using a little command D trick here. To just build that all up so thankfully <laughs> you don't have to see me trace a thousand windows in this thing oh so asking rgb or cmyk if you want to post on twitter um rgb yeah you will have more vibrant colors so when you share on social networks you should use RGB or if you want to use your illustrations on the web. Same YK, just for printers, yeah. And by default, the color space might be CMYK in the document, in the template, but feel free to change it to RGB. Then you will get, you will get more colors. 
to look better on Twitter. Windows. Yeah, lots of windows today. Oh. I'm gonna move this. Okay, now we check what's going on on Twitter now. Mm. Oh, that's why. I've got a few bits of that one. Yeah, this is some new posters. Great. Muscatin, if you're still online, uh, you know, if you know a better, a quicker way of uh, illustrating buildings, you know, let me know. <laughs> that's all he does. Well, not all he does. But he does a lot of that, a lot of buildings. What is the duplicate shortcut position then? Uh, so. so the duplicate shortcut, yeah. uh, so what I'm doing with the windows here is literally um, just, so you hold Alt, Alt and then Shift to kind of, to pull it down nice yeah. and simple. And then so Command Alt D. is to duplicate and Shift is to uh, keep the position vertically or horizontally, you know, on the same line or yeah, same coordinates. Horizontally or vertically. Uh, either, either you can post as many versions as you like if you feel inspired and creative with the posters. Uh, let me show you what's going on on Twitter. So, this is how it works, okay? We invite you to download a template. The template is on Adobe Live, it's an Illustrator file, and to add colors and change the typography. So, for instance, for instance Azer graphic design two minutes ago posted this one. Interesting typeface. I don't know this one actually. Do you recognize this typeface? What's that? Yeah. Oh, I've never seen it, Michael. Yeah. No, no idea. Yeah, and color scheme. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, Muscatin's still online. Look, best oh. way to it. Don't start. It's too much work. <laughs> I know, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that today. I'm yeah, feeling Muscatin, that. Yeah, Muscatin, yeah. You worked on buildings. A lot for his project called uh, Vector City. Vector City, yeah. yeah. If any of you guys want to, yeah. I mean, that's a, a fantastic project, it really is. And Alex Vieiro, I mean, it's crazy because from the same template, completely different mood here, very uh, woody, I would say. Yeah, that's pretty woody, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really, with a uh, gold and uh, brown. Very nice. Yeah, like um... nice uh, typeface, nice typeface work cho choice because it looks like. Uh, Wood, uh, yeah, wood chops. See what I mean? Yeah. No, I like that. That's, yep. that's cool. With the yeah. stripes, yeah. Good use of color as well. Mm -hmm. Very nice ideas here. So maybe you will be um, one of the lucky winners on Friday. Uh, so, anima fan. Also, we invite you to share portfolios. There is your share your portfolio button, and we have Dorina. Uh, is there a project you want to see more? Oh, on, are we looking at this? Yeah, just uh, oh. Dorina in the chat from uh, Bulgaria. Bulgaria, okay, oh, cool. Actually, there is a cover book, ebook cover in InDesign. Let's look at that. The Star Queen. There we go. Mm -hmm. Cool. Is that a, is that a real book or is that is that something you've done or uh, what is that? First experience in designing an ebook tutorial I followed. Okay, so it's first cover for Dorina. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice typeface here, like very. Uh, that yeah. building looks too phallic to trace. Yeah. <laughs> and we have also uh, Metrus sharing uh, some identity logos. Yeah, nice. Very clean work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. Very clean. Kind of like uh, what's his face? Noma Noma Bar he plays with the positive and negative yeah, space. Negative space, yeah. Yeah. And waves, yeah, nice. Thanks for sharing Muscatine nice. Inspector City as well, whoever that was, because uh, yeah, that's yeah, worth a worth great taking project. a look at. Okay, let's go back to your screen. Oh, we have Windows. We've got Windows now. I tell you what, this is uh, it's all go. Let's build this thing up. Oh, Darina, it was part of the tutorial. Okay, thanks for sharing. Good job. Yeah, it's a very good way to start. There are so many tutorials today on the web, on YouTube, on Adobe.com. If you want to, you know, start learning graphic design, I th I think it's a great way to start. And in, a, in addition, 
watch uh, you know someone like uh, Gordon at work making decisions it's also a very good way to learn uh, more about uh, yeah. the philosophy of graphic design making wrong decisions making all the time. wrong in, yeah. yeah all the time just learn from my mistakes that's what I learn from my mistakes <laughs> The metaphor I use these days is that, you know, it's like uh, when you learn how to play tennis. Yeah. So you have to take lessons, of course. Of course. But then you learn a lot watching someone playing, you know, like uh, Roger Federer. So maybe you are the Roger Federer of graphic design, you know. Yeah, I don't know about And sometimes that, yeah. he makes mistakes, but he has the attitude to to make it work at the end and to win. So, well, uh, you know, that's part of it. I'm up for that. I'm up for that. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> or the Andy Murray of uh, no way. No. no way. Not that you guy. You don't like Andy Murray? No. Why? You don't like his attitude? No, he's it's just a boring guy, isn't he? I'm not into it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not into it. It's so boring. It's a bad... <laughs> right, let's work in a bit of a stroke here. Uh, although there is um, a, a tennis player called Gordon Reed that's spelt the same way. No way. Yeah, he's a disabled tennis player. He plays uh, the Olympics? Yeah, yeah, he did the Olympics, yeah. So it's kind of annoying because... Um, oh, from Scotland. Yeah, he's a Scottish guy. Yeah, we've we've shared a tweet every now and again. <laughs> we share <laughs> a tweet. Oh, he was like the best player in the world, actually. Yeah. <laughs> in 2016. Yeah, there you he go. He was number yeah. one. Okay. Um, and for a while on uh, on LinkedIn, LinkedIn were, were getting... Pro, uh, kind of pro my profile mixed in with things of his. <laughs> so at one point, someone uh, an email went out to all of like thousands of my contacts that had a photo of him, a photo of me, and the, the title. Yeah, it was really weird. And the title of the uh, number one yeah. tennis player. No, it was like oh. using the losing the use of my legs has, has really helped me overcome all of this stuff. And I oh. like my uncle was phoning me up going, what's going on? What's what happened? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that was quite yeah. interesting. Thank you, LinkedIn. Yeah, cheers, LinkedIn. Yeah. For that, yeah. Yeah. Good job. So we're just getting these, you know, just getting the building together here. We can kind of, can kind of raise the opacity on these and just you know, see how that's looking. On one side. Okay. There you go, they all know about the tennis player. <laughs> <laughs> some point you need to design a car oh, I need to do the car That's as well yeah yesterday. I did promise a car today yeah. a Trump ta it's not Trump Tower I do not endorse <laughs> anything <laughs> oh, so this is the LAPD look, uh, building right yeah. yeah I think there's a new one now but like oh. certainly oh back in the days yeah this was the one yeah yeah because Beverly Hills Cop yeah Beverly yeah. Hills Cop yeah yeah so if you just join yeah because he's designing the book cover of LA Confidential so he created a mood board on Pinterest, trying to extract pictures um, that yeah, would match with the atmosphere of the book. And one of the buildings which is featured in the book is the LAPD building. And it would become an illustration which would be part of the cover. <laughs> they say that the building starts looking like a, a spaceship. I'm into that. Yeah, yeah I'm mean, into that. You can use it for the cover of Elon Musk. Like Elon Musk book, yeah. <laughs> Just copy paste. Reuse the same stuff, yeah. I think so. That's good, that, though. I like, I like the interpretation that it could be something else, you know. It's nice. It sort of makes the user work a little bit.
There we go. Um, we are talking about music. Uh, yeah, let's start with you. Like, do, do you listen to music usually when yeah. you design? Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. What kind of music? Uh, you know what? It really varies depending on what. So the, at the moment, I've I've been listening to. I, I really like the new um, Kendrick Lamar album. Oh yeah. Really, really love that. I mean, all his albums are every time you're like, oh, yeah, so good. This guy is so good. Yes, I'm, I'm very much into him, and I've kind of I've been listening to like a lot of old um, Neil Young and Crazy Horse oh. live albums. It's like really loud, like really kind of unexpectedly loud, kind of brutally loud guitar stuff. So, um, designers in the chat, let us know what you're listening to these days. Yeah, what's good as you design? Yeah. What makes you feel good or angry in Illustrator or yeah. Photoshop? <laughs> uh, we have Rob Generate the Third also joining the chat with a very mm -hmm. talented illustrator. Rob Zilla! Yeah, Rob Zilla is in the place. Who's Rob Zilla? He's an um, illustrator from the US and uh, he directly draws on, on the iPad. Oh, he's in uh, nice. an Adobe app, Illustrator Draw. So he's, he's a vector artist. Oh, cool. He has been live uh, several times with us. He's always very impressive. Um, he just uh, made all the portraits of a very famous uh, NBA team. I won't be able to tell you which one because I'm not good at NBA. I don't know if watches the stream while he's driving. No. What? Yes. You're watching the stream as you're driving? Just uh, something that only can happen in the US. They, yeah. They do everything in their cars, seriously. They have dinner. <laughs> they play cards. They watch Adobe Live. Okay, if you watch the stream in your car, Robzilla, we need a picture on Twitter. A with selfie. the Adobe Live uh, hashtag. Stay also, safe, oh, though. Stay safe. Yesterday we had. Okay, I need to find them. We had awesome pictures of people watching Adobe Live. You know, so you just take a picture with your phone and you share it on Twitter, adding the hashtag. It was so good, so funny. Who have we got? Let's let's see some of these. That'd be good. Oh yeah, I need to find them. I want to see some of those. Uh, so this one. This one is super funny. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Let me just show you three of them. I find it so cool when you share that. So we have, for instance, uh, Atekar One, uh, who is watching and working at the same time. So you see uh, two screens. <laughs> uh, that's the environment. Super cool. Oh, I saw that on our, the. Our yeah, Danielle also. She's working on the poster as she's watching. Okay. And uh, yesterday we also had an agency in the conference room <laughs> watching at the VLI. Wow. Uh, that's the Clearlink uh, design team. That's, that's, that's awesome. So yeah, if you, feel free to share for any pictures like this of you watching the stream. It's super cool. Yeah, let's have some live stream uh, selfies. I'd love to. I'd love to see that. That'd be awesome. It's so funny. Yeah, just add Adobe Live hashtag so we can catch it, but it's so fun. But be safe, Rob, okay? Because if you drive and stuff and take a selfie watching Adobe Live, maybe oh, it's too much. Maybe I wouldn't know much. what to do, so Rob. park the car. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I'm kind of proud of him that he can multitask in that sort of way. I, I wouldn't be able to do that. Okay, so what did you say? We have Angela, she says that she listens to uh, 90s hip hop music. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, Count Zero works uh, in silence most of the time. <laughs> okay. Um, we have uh, Shoko Stroko, uh, Chill Hop Cafe 24 7. I guess it's a music radio station, jazzy instrumental hip hop. Okay. A lot of hip hop. That's uh, good. Dorina. From Bucharest or Bulgaria, sorry. I don't remember what you shared there. Uh, sorry. She's listening to dancehall, afro, and hip hop. Oh, okay, very different. Oh, nice. And yeah, like uh, that. Gad is listening to classical songs. It's jazz Mozart. Mozart, okay. Pop music, Tanish. Oh, yeah, little, little, so many different uh, music styles. Uh, we have uh, Jen, uh, Jen Flanco from uh, Peru listening to Tropical Bass Ooh. when uh, designing. And uh, 
Dr. Pepper, listen to Neil Young, Dead Man soundtrack. Oh, that's wow. great. That's a good film as well. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Was it the one with uh, Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp, yeah. That's the one in black and white. Yeah. yeah. Dead Man. Yeah. It's like horrible story. Yeah. A uh, terrible story, yeah. But great movie. Dramatic. I once, uh, I once met the director of that film, Jim Jarmusch, and uh, we were, um, it was really cool, it was, my friends played the Forum in Kentish Town, we were on the roof of the Forum, a couple of thousand people at, uh, at the venue, and uh, Jim Jarmusch was a fan of, uh, of their band, he came to watch the gig, so we were all sort of stood up there, and uh, a sort of big American accent, like mm. everyone's kind of chatting. And I shook his hand. I'm like, "Oh, hi, I'm Gordon." And he just went, "Jim." <laughs> what? <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> See you. That was a pretty. That's kind of a magical, magical moment. No, that was cool. Okay, Hamdi says, "Nice style, Gordon." Yeah, wait for it, it to be included in the cover book because now he's just working on the shapes. But yeah, yeah. Let's see the style. Uh, Tanish, the contest this week is uh, an illustrator file that you can download on Adobe Live in the contest tab. It's a poster in black and white. You just need to add colors and change the typography. Just change the typefaces to make it look more cool. Just, you know, you take a graphic style. We had so many different graphic styles already shared on Twitter. It's amazing. Um, and you share it with us. And uh, on Friday, um, 30 people will win Adobe Creative Cloud subscriptions, Adobe Stuff subscriptions, and posters. So plenty of opportunities to win. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Keep creating. <laughs> Come on, YouTube. Keep it coming. Keep it alive. I'm going to do this thing. And in two minutes, we will start giving away stuff. So we will give away a Creative Cloud subscription to someone in the chat because you are so nice. We have so many good questions today. Yeah, this will they, be your reward. Um, yeah, they're good. We've got some really good stuff coming from people today. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying yeah. this. And Rob, yes, you can enter the competition. Of course, Rob. Of course. Rob is very good with colors. Oh, I'd like to see some of his work. Give me, uh, send me some of your work, Rob. Tweet it or or something like that. You oh know. yeah, he will find you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that now because. Uh... <laughs> okay, Ryan, he's leaving home to go to work, so he will watch uh, watch us from the office. Oh yeah, do it. Hi, do it, Ryan. Commute. See you soon. Bye, Ryan. Uh, Regali, uh, change the colors and the types of the poster. If you want to add elements, play with the composition, feel free to do it. But if you change the colors and change the typeface, it's already awesome. Uh, if you want to have fun and be creative, yeah, of course. Yeah, let me put the link again in the chat if you want to download the templates. It's just a small Illustrator file. All the instructions are inside the Illustrator file. Actually, I invite you all to open the template in Illustrator and keep it under your eyes because I will ask you a question to get a chance to win Creative Cloud. And it will be about a detail within the template. Mm -hmm. So. Open the template in Illustrator, be ready. Just want to make sure that Nightbot is awake. Yeah. Yes, Logan, I messed up with the compass, yeah. <laughs> That's true. If you zoom in, yeah. I'm aware of this one, yeah. There we go, that's kind of that's taking some sort of shape. It's a little crude at the moment, but, you know, I 
think we can uh, I think we can at least kind of add this in okay it's a bit of a placeholder for now just to sort of get you, yeah, you get some, some details later yeah we can come back to that sure. in, a, in, a, yeah. in a bit later but as long as we've got it in and we can kind of build it into the design and kind mm -hmm. of keep going with it Versions. I got into this habit of making two versions of everything that I do, so my uh, my artboards get pretty messy. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's just the way I kind of do things, you know. Uh, I'm going to expand that. He has a lovely accent. Who's got a lovely accent? Yeah. Is that yeah. me or, or Michael? Must be you. Well, I think you've got a lovely accent. Yeah, thank you. You know. I'm not just saying that, that's good. <laughs> oh, Tupac is in the chat. Oh, is he? Tupac. Oh, I thought he oh was. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. We were was worried for you. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? Oh my god. He's going to join the contest. Oh, good one, Tupac. Yeah. Thanks. What is, what's your recommendation as far as layers? Oh. Uh, yeah, how do you work with layers? Pretty badly. Yeah. <laughs> pretty First. messily. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you name your layers? Uh, I do. I do yeah. mostly. Yeah. Most, most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. As you'll as you'll see uh, in this one, I haven't particularly in this. Uh, yeah, because you are in a rush. You know, it's yeah. Because kind of yeah, I'm kind of hammering through it today. But yeah, I mean, especially with Illustrator, you, you just kind of need to be on top of the layers. So. Uh, whenever I start a piece, if you'll notice, uh, I've got the background locked down, mm. and then I've got the grid on top of that, and then I kind of build in the illustration through through the layers from there. But yeah, it's I think it's quite vital to to keep layering up with these sort of things because mm. otherwise it can get a bit out of hand, especially when you're kind of building things like websites in Photoshop. Oh, yeah. I mean, it just gets websites in Photoshop. Yeah, that it? that is when I definitely name all of my layers. And for uh, you know, for screen design, like a UX design, when you design a website, mobile application, we're working on a new uh, application actually mm. called Adobe XD. It stands for Experience Design. So it's okay. it's still in beta. It's a brand new app, uh, which would be uh, uh, which is available on Windows and Mac. And uh, we introduced a new concept for layers. So when you look at the document, there is no layer. Oh. But then when you select a screen. It will just show the layers of the screen. Cool. So by default, you don't have like if you have like 100 screens, you don't have like 3,000 layers you know, in the panel. So it will just display what you are the layers of the yeah, screen you are working on. So super smart. I'm into that. That sounds good. Yeah. Jing. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, hello, Jing. Jing is watching. Jing will be live with us in seven hours. No, in the. Uh, uh, <laughs> Five? five, five hours. Yes, in five hours. What are you doing, Jim? Go and see yeah, Jim. Paris, yeah. man. Don't don't be watching. <laughs> Maybe she's watching from uh, Montmartre on her phone. Yeah, she could know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who knows? Uh, that looks like my layer list. There you go. Yeah, layer one, two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, one, two, three, four. It works. It's always worked for me. <laughs> Layers are everything in life, yes, Jonathan. There's more to life than layers, Jonathan. Yeah. There's more to life. Is there any Adobe live stream plan in the future? Yes, there is one coming this summer. I'm working on it. I will share the dates with you very soon. Who is Jing? Jing is one of the guests of uh, the Adobe live show this week. So we have Gordon, and then in one hour, we will welcome uh, Christina and Julia, then for two hours, then Martin for two hours, and then Jean for two hours. She's a, yeah, an awesome illustrator, yes, Daniel. She's awesome. Okay, so I will ask you a question. Make sure you open the template, uh, which is available on Adobe Live. There is a get the template button, illustrator file. Open it in illustrator. I will ask you a question about this template and you have to type the answer in the chat and Nightbot will pick someone who get the right answer to win Creative Cloud. One year of Photoshop, Illustrator, everything. Type it. And if you are already a Creative Cloud member, it will extend your membership, adding one year. Okay. The question is, how many stars can I see in the sky? So how many, how many stars are in the sky 
in one of the illustrations. It's the only illustration. Uh, is it a number or written? Uh, I would say type the number, okay? Easy enough, just type the number. And I would give you uh, two or three minutes to open the template, count how many stars and type the answer in the chat. Jing is definitely someone important, Abdullah. Oh yeah, Abdullah. She is very important. And yes, someone will post a link to her Behance account for sure. There we go. So I'm just building back into this grid again now because we've kind of sort of trying to work out where to place this building, you know. And that's 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 kind of the fun of, of this sort of part of the design is when you kind of start building into this grid hmm. where you kind of start to work these designs in and how the color schemes work together okay uh yeah what's this what's going on here whoa yeah. they are counting how many stars you can see in the template i thought they were counting how many layers i've used seven it's nearly seven nearly yeah Yes, you are absolutely right. There are seven stars. Ooh. What happens? Uh, you know, <laughs> just life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Life happens. That was impressive. That was. <laughs> it's profound. It was so profound. Deep. Yeah. <laughs> it's one thing you know about me, Michael. <laughs> Things are gonna get Philosopher. very emotional here. <laughs> Doing all this stuff. Okay, Nightbot, please pick someone who gave the right answer, which is seven. Yeah, congratulations. Um, okay, and I will ask this person to share uh, their Twitter handle in the chat. So the winner is Greggy. Congratulations, Greggy. Please share your Twitter handle in the chat so I can contact you. Well, okay. congratulations. Yeah, you get you. a yeah. one-year credit card subscription. We will do one more giveaway in about 10 minutes. We will give away um, swag. Swag. Middle boot swag. Show it. Oh, yeah. Let's let's get some swag on the go. Oh, what, what, what's the question? Do we have a question for Not this? yet. It, it, it's, it will come. We can think. We can think about some questions. There we go. So we've got, uh, let's, let's slam it all down. So we've got a middle boot branded bag. So you'll see here as modeled by myself. You can, you know, use that to put anything you want in there. Records, I would say. We've got one of those we're giving away. Give away some packs. These are limited edition now because there's only a few left. But this is uh, way some of my work, which I can, I don't know, I can sign or whatever you want. If you want that, I don't know, might ruin it. Well, we've got some stickers as well, a little bag of stickers. You can add some stickers if you want. Flag borrowing steel, which is the name of my talk that I've been touring around Europe. Be excellent to each other. You know, if you want this stuff, just just ask. Middle boot, little sticker. Yeah. And we've got some light, I'll give away some lighters as well. Awesome. Well, I don't have a photo here. So stay with us in 10 minutes, someone will win all this stuff. Stickers, leaflets, the bag, everything. You know, whatever, you, whatever you want. Photograph of me, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe do something with, uh, I don't know, with my Instagram maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Trying to promote the Instagram. <laughs> Make sure to all follow Middle Boop on Instagram. Yeah, all, all follow me on Instagram, you know, for more of these It'd things. Very sad. <laughs> It'll be a complete letdown. And thank you, Paul, for sharing your Twitter account. I will share with you a link right now in a private message.
There we go. What's this? It's uh, Ricardo <laughs> watching from the office. He's like, shh, watching in the office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we stack it in the back, working on the template. Oh my God, Ricardo, it's awesome. And then, yeah, Thomas was watching the stream. Look at the awards here. Oh my God, Lions. Big time, Thomas. Oh my God. <laughs> What are you doing with this iPad? So, I hope you have kit. Otherwise, I don't know how you got this lines. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess it's from your kids. It's awesome. Thanks for sharing. Okay, back to the mood board. Oh yeah, we're What's back to the mood board. Well, I, you know, I'm, I t you know, I'm getting a bit bored creating this grid for now. I think I think okay. we're kind of good with uh, the structure. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Certainly for the for the moment, because we you know you can kind of see how we we can sort of build in these elements and things like that. And because I did promise you that I'd uh, trace a car today. Yeah, we need a car. You know, I think that kind of pulls it all together. So did you find a car in your mood board? I've got a few cars in the mood board, you know. So uh, they're all kind of from this <laughs> this time. Muscatan is also big on on cars, you know. In Mus Vector City, there oh, are is he? cars. Oh yeah. Oh, there are, aren't there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He does them well as well. He, he spends forever on them, you know. We don't have that we sort of time here. Yeah. We don't have time, Muscatin. So I, I don't know, you know, whoever whoever picks one of these, if anyone wants to pick one of the cars to illustrate. I mean, I think, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, we got? I like this one. We have Gad watching from Philippines. It's already midnight. Wow. Oh, wow. Thanks for watching, Gad. Thanks for staying You're up, awesome. Gad. Awesome. Let's do this. This is a good one. Thanks again for sharing pictures of your environment watching Adobe Live. It's always so funny. So cool. Yeah, let's get some more uh, selfies. And yes, Daniel, someone used papyrus. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. So this is the car we're going to trace. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh, beautiful car. Yeah, man. This is going to do it. Oh my God. What would you do, Muscatin, with a car like this? He's probably not online and he's probably got bored. <laughs> the Dodge, there we go. Wow, people know this stuff. Wow, the Dodge, yeah. Yeah, good work, guys. Well, this is, you know, this is one of the cars that was, you know, you can see it in the film. Are they confidential? They kind of feature this sort of stuff in the book that you drive around in this stuff. So, you know, it feels only right. Feels only right to be doing it. Let's get a new layer. Let's get a new layer for this. Name it car. I always forget to name it, as you know. Car. <laughs> so you will just use the, the pen tool? Yeah, I think it's gonna be well, it's gonna be pen tool, there's gonna be some vector shapes going okay. on in there as well. Uh, and then we can kind of start to build into the detail. And okay. once we've got the basic shape, yeah. Capture work to trace it. As in like image capture, I don't know. Don't know if it would. Not not to the sort of extent that I want to do, because it's already a bit pixelated, uh, Scott. Yeah, capture work to trace it. Um, yeah. No. I mean, you would get something. That's for sure, but uh, it would definitely not match with the style of Garden. Uh, I mean, you see how he works. Like he takes a picture and he tries to identify the basic shapes, only the fundamentals of the picture to create this uh, flight design look. Um, and it's not that easy. I mean, you can try at home, like right now, uh, take a picture of a car and try to <laughs> to identify the basic shapes. You will see that it's not that easy. Yeah, do it. Hi, Tomoyo. Thanks for joining. We are design, still working on the book cover for LA Confidential, the book by uh, James Elroy. So it's in LA in the 30s, maybe? Yeah, uh, I think the 30s, yeah. yeah. So that's why uh, Gordon 
made this uh, mood board on Pinterest and one of the design element is uh, this beautiful car from the 50s. So maybe it's in the 50s actually, let me check. Yeah, have a check. Confidential. In the 50s. Oh, there we are. Yeah, so that's a very good uh, choice of car. Do I have a designer that inspires me? Um, who inspires me at the moment? Yeah, I mean, I, I get inspired by all sorts of things, really, you know. Um, at the moment, uh, yeah. Muscatin. Muscatin inspires me on a daily basis. Well, no. Yeah, and hopefully Muscatin will be with us also during Adobe Live events. Yeah, oh yeah. Be awesome. Muscatin. But no, it ain't, it ain't really good. I really love uh, Lita and Wade's work. Lita's. No, yeah. Yeah, Lita's. Yes. Lita's. Yeah, yeah. How do you spell it? L Sorry, guys. <laughs> L I. Uh, L E T A. Oh, Lita. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Their works. Oh. oh, Lita and Wade. Yeah, yeah Lita and Wade. Wade yeah. Jeffrey. Yeah, they're they're incredible and oh, lovely, yeah. lovely people as yeah, well. Lovely like, really, people. Really love their stuff. Yeah, they um, were also live with us at half. Uh, they were part of the Tech Ten contest. If you follow this uh, contest with Adobe Stock. Cat uh, is asking, how did you develop this color scheme? The color scheme. Well, actually, that's a that's a good question. And what makes them so complementary? Well, I mean, the color scheme came from uh, we used the color wheel, didn't we, yesterday in Adobe Color, as you can see here. And and this is a great way. I mean, there's there's all sorts of ways of kind of mm. developing a color palette. Um, uh, this is this is one that works for me quite well. <clears throat> And uh, just because you can kind of pick a color, I normally start with like one color, one or two colors. Okay. Get them into this with it using the hex code at the bottom, whether it's RGB or CMYK. And then you, you, you've just got different ways of doing it, whether they're complementary or compound, anything like that. And you can just pull the wheel and, and just until you find something that, that matches, something that really kind of works well with each other, you know. Um, so that's what we did. Yesterday we had some audience participation for choosing the colours, and we've kind of run with those. Um, the the reason that I've gone for this style of colour palette, I guess they're kind of more pastel-y sort of colours, is, is I guess again to kind of work with that sort of 1940s, 1950s style. You know, I really want to play about with uh, that kind of fun mm. sort of LA old school edge, even though the book's quite dark. Mm. I guess the whole idea about it was that um, they're, they're trying to sell LA, or they were at the time, as being this amazing place where nothing went wrong. So it's kind of almost tongue in cheek that we're using this kind of more uh, bright, sort of pastel y colour palette. Yeah. So there you go. Too sleepy. There we go. We all are. I uh, have a colour palette from Chris Kelly in the chat. Using the heart. Oh, thanks, Steve. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> thanks, Chris. Where were we? We were doing the car, weren't we? Yeah. We were doing the car. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let us down, Josh. Come tomorrow. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. You got to see the finished piece, man. Yeah, tomorrow we have a finished piece, and uh, maybe we could print it and find oh. a printer at the office. Yeah, that's I'd love to. Yeah, 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 that'd be awesome. That'd be really nice. And then we, we put it on a book, and we go to a, a bookstore, <laughs> and we place it next to the original one, and we see... See which one sells which first. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm let's into do that with the GoPro. With the, yeah. <laughs> I'm into that. Hi, Kitty. Thanks for joining. Uh, you're sorry because you missed yesterday's stream. You were not the only one, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> we had some technical issues with YouTube, just with Gordon. But the replay is available, and the replay is perfect. Like there is no skipped frame. Everything is there. So sorry again. 
I am in touch with YouTube to understand what happened yesterday. It's still a mystery. Mm -hmm. Hi Gonero, thanks for watching, thanks for joining. We're still live uh, for 35, yeah, 35 mm -hmm. minutes with Gordon. And then we welcome back Christina and Julia. So yeah, time's going fast, isn't it? Goes I fast. See, yeah. yeah. Goes fast when you're having fun. Uh, what was that question? Something about color. Yeah, color theory. What's uh, the benefits of using one color rule over others? One color. Oh, why would you use complementary colors? For instance? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I would use, oh, I guess we're, we're going back to the yeah. kind of color thing. I mean, it, it really depends on the project. I mean, for something like this, where obviously it's an open brief because, you know, we've kind of decided what we're going to do and I'm doing it. It's, uh, it's sort of down to me, really. And I think, I mean, I'm still in a stage where I'm kind of experimenting with a piece, so I might still strip the color palette back. Uh, I think... I, I, as I've grown older, hopefully somewhat wiser as a designer, I've actually tried to strip my color palettes back quite a lot. So even in this piece, we're using like four or five colors or something like that. I've, I tend to strip it down to maybe three uh, and, and kind of play a little bit more with a sort of positive and negative space for a piece. Kind of let, instead of kind of hitting you with loads of different colors, uh, just kind of let, Letting the piece speak for itself, I suppose. Um, I don't know if that answers the question, really. <laughs> <laughs> One colour rule over, yeah. I think there's different benefits for, for each piece. Kind of, it's a case-by-case -case basis, really, you know. Um, cool, that's good. Does that answer your question, Scott? He's gone. Yeah. Scott's gone. Uh, Chris from New Zealand. Seriously, well, wow. thanks for watching. Oh, thanks, Chris. The, yeah, 3 a.m. Well, Chris never sleeps. You can tell. Okay, it's time to give away uh, some uh, middle oh, book oh, yeah. swag. So uh, the bag, the stickers, the leaflet. You can keep working. Oh yeah. To find yeah. So I will ask a question, and you will have to answer. And this would be a question about middle books. So need to find. It's a good question. And you just have to type the answer in the chat and I will contact you on Twitter to get your address and we will ship it to you. There we go. Why oh, magic? Swag bag. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, Scott. Well, if you want to talk about color or anything like that, just just give us a tweet or a, a, you know hit me on Instagram or whatever. Yeah. It's at Middle Boop. Um, we can we can chat more about color and all of that all of that business. Okay, so I will ask a question about uh, the work of Middle Boop. And you have to type the answer in the, in the chat. Uh, so, um, you toured uh, America and you had an mm. exhibition. Uh, it was a typography series uh, featured in LA and New York. I want you to type in the chat what was the name of this typography series created by Middle Boop. This it's quite a long name. <laughs> it's definitely a long name, yeah. It's definitely a long name, so type the name in the shoot. In the chat, that's good. Type yeah. a name in the chat. We'll take a... And I will ask Nightbot to pick someone who gave the right answer. And you will win some crazy stuff. Woo! Branded, created by Middlebook. 
you have to do some research on the internet, I guess. Yeah, there's uh, you have to okay. do a bit of digging for that. Yeah, you'll find uh, the odds and outs. How uh, how long does it take to get comfortable with that pen tool? Um, Quite a while. Yeah, I and mean. <laughs> I mean, I would say it's all about the shortcuts. So that's that's uh, what you need to understand with the pen tool is that without the keyboard shortcuts, you cannot do anything. So you need to learn shortcuts. So how the pen tool behaves when you press Alt, when you press uh, Command, uh, Shift, um, how to switch between um, the A tool, pressing A and uh, V for the move tool, uh, and P to go back to the pen tool. So you will find plenty of tutorials, but if you really start learning uh, the um, the shortcuts at the same time. It's just a matter of uh, I don't know, maybe one or two weeks, and then you need to train your eye. That's the. What was the question? Ah, you see, it's not that easy this time. <laughs> so middle group, he made the typography series. Okay, a series of poster, and uh, it became an exhibition in New York in LA. What was the name of this exhibition? What was the name of this series of posters involving typography? I mean, no one got it. I mean, it's terrible. Yeah. Come on, guys. It's not that easy. I think it's maybe the hardest question we ever asked on Adobe Live. It's a hard question to ask. Very hard yeah. question. Why don't we... Uh, Which makes sense. No, no, no. They, they will yeah. find it. Okay. They yeah. will find it. I've got faith in you guys. You'll uh, find it. Chuck B. You can find me on Twitter. Send me a private message on Twitter. M Chess. That's a hard one, huh? Okay, let me help you. <laughs> Not finding it. <laughs> I think. Well, hold on. Is it on my B hands? No, not really. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've just typed the questions in the chat. It should help you. Oh. 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 They're doing it. <laughs> my God. Trent. Good job. Good one, Powell. Doesn't mean that you won, Trent. Because uh, life is unfair. Life so is Nightbot rough. will pick uh, someone who get the right answer, although you're the only one so far. Well, there was, there was two. Yep. Yeah, there's a few coming in. That was a hard one. Ooh. Yeah, that was good, that. Oh, Ryan is back at the office. Oh, good one, Ryan. That's not the right answer, Clara. That's, that was a different exhibition, that one. <laughs> oh, they're doing it. They found it. Yeah. This is good. Yeah, okay, brilliant. Good wow. Good one, guys. Okay, Nightbots. The winner is Ryan O'Donnell. Ryan. Woo! Good one, Ryan. Subscribe to the Creative Cut channel in January. Good job. They're coming in through. But uh, thank you again. Oh, uh, everyone's Who was found the first it now. one. Wow, they're still Trent, coming through. Trent, really, thanks for sharing the way. I think you really helped our friends in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Please share your Twitter handle with us. Good job. Uh, Ryan, yes, share your Twitter handle so I can contact you, get your address, and uh, we will ship everything. There will be more giveaways, okay, during the next stream with uh, Christina and Julia, so stay with us. They will be live in 30 minutes on Adobe Live. You only have an Instagram? Ah. No, Ryan. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Let me share with you my 
personal Facebook Maybe account. Personal Facebook account. Oh, Ryan, this is a this is a real twist. This is something a treat. <laughs> Very exclusive. <laughs> is the my only use case for Facebook these days this is a prize in itself <laughs> I would say Where Access. is the chat oh here we go Ryan uh, oh. join me on Facebook if you have Instagram I guess you have a uh, Facebook now you can use Facebook Ryan don't you don't have to create a Twitter account just for me that's fine Well, you, you could. He could start a uh, a fan page for you, a fan Twitter account. How about that? You know, Don't, I mean, it could be the time. Not inspire them. I guess. He's a very popular man, you know. <laughs> okay, Trent, you were the first, so I kind of admire that Trent. He did a good job. Uh oh, they're all sending you friend requests now. <laughs> nah. So, Ante, we'll give you away something because you did well. I'm writing you a message right now on Twitter. Oh. Just because I'm in a good mood. Well, yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Depends on what I eat in the morning. Yeah, there's no official rule. Okay, I get it. It's, just, it's completely unfair. Yeah. What did you uh, What did you eat this morning? Why are you in a good mood? What are we talking? Uh, what did I have? Are you healthy today, or so in the morning I had a, a coffee, classic. Yeah, and uh, for lunch I had a osobuco. Uh, uh, what's that? It's a veal with a pasta. Sounds good. Yeah. So Sounds then good, you get man. the bone, you know, like also bone, uh, also buco. Italian classic meal. Oh, Clara Lim, you're my. Oh, Clara, it's too <laughs> nice. It's too nice. Hexes. Oh, <laughs> if you attend Adobe Max, we're working on something amazing. Maybe it will happen. It will be awesome. Uh, because I don't know if you realize where we are, but we are in a, in a closet. You know, so I can show you. This is garden working. That's the green wall. <laughs> that's my t-shirt. And that's the studio. It's super small. Super small. Oh, don't go that close. <laughs> but then at Adobe Max, maybe we will have a uh, a bigger studio. So Adobe Max is the Adobe conference, like big time. Yeah, it will be in Las Vegas this year. Uh oh, okay. In October, and we will be live from uh, Adobe Max. And usually we feature, uh, you know, like we have uh, 24 guests, like a lot of our, like at off, you know, a lot of sure. guests. And uh, this time we want to have like the, the studio, but also um, a way to have uh, a real life audience, so people can sit and watch and interact also with the speakers on top of the chat. Oh, nice. It will be a first, yeah. What coffee do you drink? Ah, very good question. I think that's that's the best time. question we've yeah. had. Today. That's right, the best <laughs> question about graphic design. Yeah. Oh, apparently there is a cat sound going on in the background. There's a cat sound going on. Yeah. Well, like a meowing. Yeah, there is a, a, a song with a, a cat meowing. Okay. <laughs> voice so coffee. Thing. So. First, what kind of coffee? Espresso for sure. And, uh, I like coffee from Guatemala. It's my favorite one. Oh. So you're getting all the answers today. Yeah, very, everything. Very privileged. Just, <laughs> just for our fresh new fan base. <laughs> Uh, Destiny, yeah, usually there is Rufus in the background, but we he disappeared. We lost Rufus. Rufus, he got bored, you know. Uh, I think he has to to make sure that Christina and Julia oh, are in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many cats, wow. So how is the car going? Car's going okay. Yeah, we should uh, ooh, hopefully be <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hopefully be finished. We've got 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 is, minutes. 
You yeah, know, getting some detail on there. Uh, little detail, little pen tool detail here. Here and there. Just to kind of bring it all together. Uh, Evil Sarah is nice avatar. I can finally see, finally see your face. Maybe it's, it's you. Was it with you the discussion about the... I know it was with Martin yesterday. We had a, a nice conversation with the chat about... Uh, oh, actually... It would be great to have your opinion on this. Go for it. Um, so you have your own studio. You even have a nickname, Middle Boop. I do. Um, yeah. But it's only you. you know I mean? like, yeah. It's not like a studio with uh, 30 people. Uh, and your work and, and when the customer you know, wants to work with you, they directly engage with you and meet you, you know, and your personality and everything, which is very important. And Martin is the same case. So he has his own studio, and uh, but he's a... A freelancer in a way, you know. Yeah. So he was wondering if, uh, in terms of uh, communication on his uh, Behance account, for instance, should he use a, a logo or his uh, portrait picture? Oh, okay. You see? And today he's using a logo. And you too. Yeah, you have uh, your. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've actually just moved from a, a photo to a. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I. Um, so like a, what was the motivation? Well, I had a couple of friends who are pretty good on their kind of social media stuff okay. uh, and Instagram and things like that, and uh, they they kind of gave me a little bit of coaching about how to uh, best sort of represent myself on social. And they said, you know, if you're because I'm kind of going out as an agency you now, sort of art direction mm -hmm. design, like you say, you know, I've got my own space, but it's still just me. So yeah. I figure like with strong branding, I think that's the best way to sort of do it really. Yeah. So he had the same uh, input, like um, he really worked on the branding of the logo and uh, uh, he, he made the stamps. Oh, like, did stickers. he? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, because he used to work in a, a publishing shop, you know, uh, so he used to be like yeah, very involved in a printing project, nice. screen print and uh, yeah, all this kind of uh, print projects. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he seems like he's uh, yeah, he's a good guy. Seems like he's got it going on. Yeah, you know? yeah he's very, very good. Good man. Good man, he's a good man. <laughs> Is there any technique in using pen tool to make good shape vectors? Uh, yeah, if you have any advice, you know, how you use the pen tool, maybe just some tricks. Yeah, well, I'm just, just about kind of playing with the curves, really, the Bezier curves. You know, I mean, that, I guess that's the sort of first thing you learn, but it's, uh, you know, there's a sort of reason. It's just because it, it kind of works really well. Um, I mean, the pen tool can be used for all sorts of different things, you know, as, as you can kind of see with well, with what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, maybe one advice would be uh, if you want to have very clean curves, especially when you start, you know, using the pen tool, make sure to identify uh, the extreme points. So uh, the highest point or the, the point which is on the left, and this would be the anchor point. And then you try to choose the pen tool. So, okay, maybe I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm describing something to understand. Okay, so we add an artwork here. Okay, okay so when you use the pen tool, um, when you get the extreme point and press shift so you keep you know the strands uh, horizontally or vertically Here, vertical but it's kind of broken so I press space now to move it around add some strands come back here extreme point and pressing shift you know, yeah, the shift is always a good one. Yeah. Shift and all and all that sort of stuff. Because if you start like playing with the pen tool and then have you know like random strength and random direction, sometimes it's useful, uh, but it would be very hard to fix uh, the energy of the curves afterwards. You, you will end with stuff like this, and you'll be like, okay, how can I fix it? And then you realize that uh, the anchor point is not at in the extreme position, but right in the middle, so it kind of breaks everything. would be smarter to yeah, just add a point and put it here and we don't need this one yeah so this is a way to I mean when you start to have something very clean like 
vertical stripes. And there is a very good live uh, on Adobe Live about it by Martina Flor. I tried to find it on, the, on YouTube and, and share with you the link. I hope that isn't Handy's boss actually watching uh, on here. <laughs> and Christina is at the reception with us if you want to pick her up. Okay, so here, yeah. I will share it to you in the chat. Uh, Christine uh, Martin Afro is talking about it. Yeah, it's kind of coming to life. I mean, there's, there's a fair amount of tidying oh, so up to do. Drink tablet, yeah, if you can see how Garland is working, he's using a, a tablet. Oh, yeah. So Wacom, that's a beautiful one. Thanks, man. Intuos Pro, right? Yeah, the yeah. Intuos Pro. Yeah. yeah, it's it's the. I mean, I've beautiful used a couple one. of Wacoms over the years. And, and then with the left hand, he's using the shortcut. Yeah, so this is usually uh, how we work. Or you can use the mouse too for vector art, but if you are comfortable with the pen. Yeah. Okay, what's the difference between Shift and Alt with the curve? Okay, so the difference is for you, Angela. Here, I press Shift, it's just to force you see the strands. So instead of going everywhere, boom, I just force it to be horizontal or vertical. That's Shift. So I would place one point here. If I press Alt, I can break the strand, you know? Because by default, here, uh, there is a symmetry between uh, before and after my anchor point. If I press Alt, I can break it and then come back, for instance. I'll break it like, very, very hard so it will come back. And then it looks like a shark or a spine. So this is when you use Alt, for instance, using the pen tool. So that's why we were saying, okay, if you start with the pen tool, learn the shortcuts and uh, and what you can do with the shortcuts, because it's not about, the, if you just use the pen tool, you won't get it. You'll be, oh my God, I cannot create the shape I want, because you need to use some keyboard, uh, keyboard shortcuts at the same time. There are some very good tutorials on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel made by uh, Paul Trenny. Maybe someone, a moderator can find the link, but this is how to master the pen tool by Paul Trenny and we will cover all the techniques. And it was a live tutorial on the YouTube channel. And every Monday and Friday, the evangelist I are live on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel to share tips and tricks. Uh, so I really invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. There is a subscribe button. So you will know when we go live, basically, on Adobe Live and also uh, for the live tutorials. Bingo, thank you, Evil Series. I guess you found the tutorial by Paul, how to master the pen tool. Well, I thought Mr. Bingo had uh, logged Mr. in. Mr. Bingo, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's another designer. Wow, the car looks great. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, there's gonna be... Nice highlights, yeah. Yeah, just little bits. I mean, I'm gonna, it still needs a little tweaking, which I'll probably have to do yeah. <laughs> uh, after this. But I think, you, you know, you get yeah. the basic idea of how, how it sort of comes together. And again, it's not that easy, like it requires a lot of practice to oh. identify the basic shapes of, of the, from a picture. Yeah. I invite you to try it, it's not easy. Yeah, guys, yeah. give it yeah. a go. Share some cars, okay? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> between like today and tomorrow, because Gordon will be back tomorrow. So it would be funny, uh, like if you can uh, quickly uh, create a car from a picture, you know, yeah. using the pen tool and share your cars with us. Uh, so we will review some cars tomorrow. Oh, I'd love to see it. Yeah, I'd love to see that. <laughs> Maybe we'll give away more, uh, yeah. more stuff. We, we give away uh, swag. more swag to the best car. <laughs> okay, designed. Let's do that. OK. 
Okay, we have 10 minutes left. The press is on. Yeah, remember to enter the contest and share with us uh, some posters. The contest is on adobelive.com. You download the template and you need to add some colors and change the typography on the, um, in the Illustrator file. And yeah, share what you're doing on Twitter so we have more people, such as Brian, sharing how he is watching uh, Adobe Live and working on the template file. I mean, that's awesome, Brian. Jonathan Gomez also, multiple screens. What is this? Oh, interesting laptop. Oh, here we go. And some variations of design. We have Zach also working on the same time in his Twitter. It's awesome. Used to be too. It's a funky color, color theme. Nice typeface. Very nice. Yeah, keep sharing. It's awesome. Let's have a little look. See if I can get the old rotate going. This is this is always a nice trick. One I'll leave you with. <laughs> Uh, yes, Powell, please uh, maybe put the link without the HTTP, you know, find a way to <laughs> to make it look like a broken link and uh, then we will fix it. But yeah, thanks for sharing. Ah, yeah, yeah, now it's okay. But maybe you're thinking about... Um, Website. It used to be an HTML5 experience, very well done to learn how to use the pen tool. Oh yeah? Yeah, like a tutorial, but in the browser directly. Really awesome. Maybe that's why we are trying to share Powell. That would be great. Here we go. Oh yes, Hugo, if you want to create your own lettering and write Adobe Camp uh, to uh, put it on the poster, you're more than welcome. Yeah, actually, it's a very good idea. Okay, so bezier.method.ac, let me check if this is what I have in mind. Yes, the Bezier game, that's exactly what I had in mind. Yeah, so we'll put the link in the chat, but yeah, get started, and this is uh, how you can learn how to use the pen tool. So here, and then you press Shift to make sure it's a straight line, and click again. Again, press shift. So you will get used to all the shortcuts. Yeah, thanks for sharing. Very good online tutorial. And now you have the link in the chat. Uh, yes, Brandon, we looked at some portfolios. We will keep uh, looking at portfolios. So keep sharing your portfolios. I see that uh, Factory Ediciones has shared one uh, on Twitter. There is a share your portfolio button on Adobe Live. Okay, so you want to add some, yeah. Yeah, little, nice. little rotate, little detail here for the spokes of the wheels. What's the name? Uh, is it the spoke? Spoke. spoke. Or is that in a bike, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of just for the, the, the hub. Yeah. Yeah, just something really simple we can we can kind of work with. But it's a nice trick, this. Um, let's, see if I can, let's see if I can redo it, the rotate trick. So yeah, if you guys ever wanted to sort of do anything like that when you're rotating things and, and kind of creating sort of spiral patterns, you know, it's quite a nice little, quite a nice little one to do. So you kind of click Alt, hold R. Do we need to do the, the stuff? Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? Tell them how to do. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should show. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you click Alt. Alt. Uh, okay. When we're holding R with the rotate button, and then obviously get your preview. Preview, yeah. And then copy. So for this one, I've gone 20 degrees. Okay. So you copy it, and then Command D. Command D to copy, copy. All the way copy. around. Wow, nice. Yeah, just a little. Yeah. Pro tip. Pro tip. 
I should create an animation. You know, like pro tip. Pro tip. Yeah. Like Wayne's World kind yeah, of. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Whoa. There you go. So you got the wheel there. That, that'll do. That'll be nice. I'm very excited because we have a, a big motion design studio working on the the titles of Adobe Live. Oh yeah. So we get it something before the end of the year. Cool. Do we know are we allowed to know who's doing it? Not yet. Oh. Very soon. First I need to sign the contract with <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Couple more minutes. So oh, Ryan, you contacted a, you created a Twitter account just for me. Oh, good one, Ryan. Pro tip. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Rufus. I think someone called you Rufus. Yes, someone is. Confused. Confused and thinks I'm Rufus. So. Some may say that was an so insult. This is my name here. Michael Shares. Look here. Michael Shares. <laughs> oh, no, I'm pointing to something. It's not there. I <laughs> <laughs> put random names there. So we can yeah. I think so. Yeah. Why not? Oh, so that's, you know, that's kind of worked out in terms of timing. But yeah, we have a lot of design elements for tomorrow because tomorrow we'll be back at the same time to uh, finish this book cover of LA Confidential. Yeah. We had a great audience today. Uh, thanks for the questions and for sharing the tips uh, about the illustrator. Yeah. yeah. Nice crowd. Really enjoyed good it. Man. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, guys. Yeah, you've been you've been great today. It's yeah. been really good. Really good fun. So we'll finish it off tomorrow. Bit of Photoshop. Yeah, it's better. Better, it's yeah. Better. Invigorating. <laughs> Invigorating, you know. Yeah, actually, it's better when Adobe Live is live. <laughs> <laughs> I can really yeah. feel the difference. Yeah, very much so, yeah. yeah. It's really, it has more value. I don't know how to explain that. I, I, I think so. There's think some so. added value there. There's some added value to it, yeah. <laughs> okay, we have like one more minute. Okay. More Just, or less. Okay, okay. So I'll put that in there. And now we got a bit of a piece coming on because we've yeah, got it's, it's coming this is coming yeah we've got the nice grid structure that's working to it you can see the kind of vectors that we've we've started to illustrate around it so now tomorrow it's just about kind of using those with the space we've got kind of uh, okay building into it with some pattern work and some line work and then getting some um, uh, texture and depth in, in Photoshop so finish it off quite nicely awesome I'm trying to fix something in real time. Too, oh, yeah. It. Yeah, because no, like. It's too much. No, it won't work. Nice try, Michael. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's all say uh, thank you to Gordon, and uh, we will be back in about five minutes on adobelive.com with uh, Christina and uh, Julia. Uh, do you know, Rufus, if they will work on a new piece or continue no, working on Yeah, they continue course. working uh, on the same piece. Uh, so. It was amazing yesterday because they collaborate in real time. Uh, Christina focusing on uh, creating a typeface uh, from sketches and uh, Julia on uh, illustrations uh, to create some uh, infographics. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, see you with uh, so Rufus, the real one, not me. Uh, <laughs> we'll be with Christina. And Gordon, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, my friend. Yeah, and uh, finally we'll get the book cover. That's exciting. Yeah. Do Thanks it. for watching. Thanks, guys. Thank and you. Uh, yeah, see you all in five minutes on Adobe Live. Bye.